What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKVanners.com. Welcome to another video. I know the title says something about mixing in Studio One 4.5, and I got Serato Studio Beta open. But if you've seen that video I did yesterday, I'm hoping to put this behind that video. Um, I actually uh, finished this track, but I want to do a little bit of um, arrangement and maybe add some effects because I really didn't, well, like, you know, like special effects type stuff. I didn't do any of that in here. Not that you can't, but it's a little bit more um, doing, I should say. So, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to export this song as a wave, and I'm going to export it as a stem. They added a new feature right here in the master section where you can export the song. Now, the camera is right where it's located, right? My face is right where it's located, but it's a blue export song. So if you have Serato Studio Beta, you know what, what that is by now if you got the new update right but if you need to get to it you would probably go to file export song and it pops up right here now they give us two options to export master export stems I'm gonna export master first I'm gonna save it as um alright so what I did off camera was bounced out the stems and all that so I'm not even sure if y'all gonna be able to hear this I'm gonna play it anyway I'm not even hearing it so y'all definitely not hearing it right hold on um Maybe I can hear it. I can't hear it though. That's a problem. Alright, but the stems. So it really don't tell you like okay, eight oh eight. Okay, okay, all right. All right. All right, boom. So, I'm going to drag these into Studio One, which I already have open. Hopefully, I can hear the audio coming in from Studio One. Good, and I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna make this a little wider so I can see what's going on. Boom. So it's, it's tagged by the BPM. Um, and the the key of the samples actually in it let me go ahead and save this file just in case um, so now i got that saved go ahead and play it um, first of all i'm gonna change the bpm to what it's supposed to be uh, i'm still not hearing it. Alright, <laughs> man, so I got the, uh, I got the sounds to play inside of 
Studio One. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all, and it's gonna take a minute because it's doing two minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. All right, so the reason why I wanted to do the the, uh, the bounce selection, but it's taken entirely too long, is that if you look right here on each one of these, um, tracks it has like this right here going on which means that the cache is running because it's not it wasn't built inside of studio one this is one of the things that i've been noticing in a new 4.5 update but we're just gonna work with it so i know that I want the uh, the joint to be the way it is. Let me look for, well, first of all, let me get rid of these tracks right here. This don't have nothing, nothing, nothing. Which one was the drums? So I wanted to have the drum separated, but I'm going to work. I'm going to work with it the way that it is currently. I'm gonna put this on a quick little loop section, real quick, like right about here. A section that has everything inside of it, all the sounds. I'm gonna just make that loop. Boom, I'm gonna make that loop for a minute and set things up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to rename these shits to be honest. Um this is gonna be red. Um, blue. All right. So now I know what I'm working with. These are going to be the band. This is going to be the drum bus. This is going to be the bass. These two go to a filter bus. Base. I'll put that in a bypass bus. These two go to the submix. Color this. I'm going to add an effects channel, two effects channels, bang, Mm. 
All right. That took entirely too long. I need to set up a um a template for mixes. I don't have a template set up for mixes. All right, so now I got that. I'm going to play it and, and look at what the output uh, numbers are. Drum is actually mixed pretty well. You can hear the kick clear. I saved this setting, I guess not. All right, so the good thing about this new 4.5 setup is that we no longer have to use mix tool. So it's it's getting a little hot. It's passing the number that I want to keep it in. So what I'm going to end up doing is lowering it. That wasn't good. I hope this thing is still recording. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm just I'm putting a light mix. Um, I'm shaping the tonality, if you will, of certain sound, sounds, certain instruments um, to
to either bring them out more or suppress them in the mix. Uh, so I started with this. See, it sounds dull without the EQ of what I did. And that brightened it up just a little bit. Still dull, but not, not crazy. So this was the actual sample. The sample actually sounds dope the way it is. I'm just cut out some of the low end so the bass could live. Boost up some of this high in the um, 5K range. I want some of that right there. This is our organ. What I'm gonna do is there's a setting in here for organs. I'm gonna start with that.